is transformation day. We have so many projects we're gonna do. We're building new flower beds here in the corner of the entrance, and we're gonna put in three more furrows so we can have more flowers, more plants. What specifically were we planting? It's like a huge variety of dahlias, but then the new beds that he's gonna be building up here in the front will be for garlic and the asparagus Ooh. in the future. So because the asparagus is bulb and it comes back every year, we need them to be in like a protected location. And then garlic, like it takes over a whole area. So we'll just have a garlic bed. Also, we're gonna paint the flower bed that we do today and the flower bed that we built last week for all of the strawberries. Aren't you putting down a ton of bark today too? And we're gonna put bark over all the paths. So we're, we're weeding everything, putting down bark. Today is transformation day. It's gonna look beautiful. And a big shout out to Tim at the Big Tool Rack. Oh, that's right. He sent us Check these great out. shirts, these hoodies. Oh, they're awesome, I love them. He was so sweet. My boys felt so loved on when he thought that Turner was so intelligent for finding... Fixing what I did wrong. He is a mechanical genius, you guys. This boy, watch him. That's right. He fixes my stuff. And he has a TikTok account, huh, Turner? What's your TikTok account? It's called Tick Turner Talk. Tick Turner Talk. Tick Turner Talk. And that goes with our other boys channel, which is Tractor Beast. So Tractor Beast, get over here. Tractor Beast has an amazing channel too. We can learn all about tractors and mostly what not to do on tractors. <laughs> with him and his grandpa, adventure ensues every week. That's right, if it's not a big fire, it's tractors falling off edges. So stay tuned guys, we're about to have a great fun day. We're gonna create three more furrows right here. So I think I'm gonna mark them out with paint and then we can just use the tractor to bring the dirt in. So, I'm gonna eyeball this whole thing. So this is kind of the edge of where I'm running. So what I wanna do is probably have a furrow that starts here, here, here. place and we had them stubbed for water so they're ready to plant okay this looks great so the boys and I have been getting all the bulbs together the tubers really the tubers are what dahlias are they're a tuber I guess so I think this is gonna be beautiful I'm excited about putting it all in so Emmett and Turner are gonna help me and Emmett's got the instructions on how we're gonna plant these tubers right Emmett yeah and I think we ordered from Dutch bulbs maybe so, all right, it says store these items in their original bag and place them in a cool location. A refrigerator or crisper door. Oh wait, that's not how we plant them. I didn't really store them that way. We just kept them in the garage. I hope it was cool enough. All right, let's find out information on how to plant these. Okay, this is what a Dahlia tuber looks like. You can see it has these little hanging knobs off of it and this is the top of it. So these kind of like get put into a hole 
only like two inches deep and they're supposed to be 18 to 24 inches apart. We're gonna space ours a little bit tighter. And, and you just like lay them kind of like flat in the hole so that they can spread because they want to propagate themselves and create more tubers. And so you just like kind of like do it like that and then you cover it up. Okay, and then the ones we're doing right here are, what are they called? These ones are the Go-Go White Dahlia and this thing gets 14 to 20 inches high and likes full sun. These are my cafe Olay, so we've just placed them in. I know that I'm doing them really close, but it's because, well, we made the furrows probably too short. I didn't know how many I had. And number two, like, because we want to grow them for like flower arrangements and stuff, I don't know if we'll always have them here or maybe we'll divide them in the future and create more places for them in the yard. But so this first season we are planting them tight. I think when they tell you to plant them 18 to 24 inches, it's because they think maybe you're not going to move them or divide them in the future. I don't know actually, but ours are tight. And really quickly, this is the anatomy of a dahlia tuber. So this is the top of it. When you get them, you're like really confused. You're like, what the heck is going on here? So these are like the energy. These are their little like bulb energy things that give it strength to grow, I guess. And these are what can be divided off in the future. But for now, when you go to plant them, you need to make sure that this is coming up towards the surface. And these are kind of like laid out in the, gr in the ground and supported by the dirt. This is Kim's new Beauty in the Yard outfit. <laughs> Hot, right. She says she's always worried about sun, but then I find this. I did put on sunscreen. It's hot today. It's She'll like put on enough sunscreen that it'll be like in the house shade. step is to build this new flower bed it's gonna be a raised bed l-shaped this time a little bit different we're going big here this is the most recent raised bed that I built I need to paint it so hoping today to do that and then to give perspective there's the door coming in and this is the area I'm gonna do this new raised bed to really clean this area up and give some purpose for it
What happens when my blade's not long enough? Ooh, so close. My blade's not long enough. What the heck? Filming in process. Got it? Okay. All right. Miles and I just put in this backer board along the back part of the fence so that way if we put dirt into the flower bed, it doesn't push out the chain link fence in the back. So let's measure that at 23. I'm putting the end piece in here. And then we'll have the first layer down. Then we're going to recut and put a second layer on top like we do for the other flower beds and get it all secured in place. It's going to be gorgeous. Okay, we're putting the second layer on now. We have everything leveled out already. So now we're measuring to put the second layer on, then we'll screw it in place. Oh, I love it. Three quarters. You know what I need? I need a saw with a much deeper blade. It's yeah. a whole different type of saw. I need one. Yeah. I think we need one as a family. Mm-hmm. Gotta tell mom that. Okay, so final stretch. Let me get my tape measure. Okay. So that distance is 97 and a quarter. So now we need to screw it in place, mm -hmm. then we'll paint it and then put the dirt in. Yeah. got really windy here suddenly perfect time to spray paint we're gonna do it anyway but yeah the wind it's just crazy it came out of nowhere no wonder it's a non-burn day but that's okay so I have prepared the bed so this existing one that I did I'm gonna be careful not to spray paint our flowers 
but I uh, brushed it off with a broom and cleaned along the edges so I can get as much paint on the surface. Oh, I need to move, I need to move this out of the way. And then our new bed here, I've got it cleaned up and I can really get the insides and pretty low on it. I'm gonna let the wind die down just a little bit maybe and uh, we'll spray it. You pack the flashlight, the blanket, and the man. It's a real adventure, the trail you're looking at. I'm glad you came for a while. I thought you might be bailing. Is that the I'm gonna let this set and dry. I bet it'll dry within 30 minutes to an hour, and I'll do a second coat. Because I need to do this other bed first, huh? Same yellow shirt you used to wear. But a thousand years seem like almost no time now. This guitar right here, do you still remember how? I played for you, I was crappy, but you sang along and I thought you knew I could die to keep you near We've got a bar in the tent, it's 5.30 Useless words What you said, what I said That might have made it worse We're here again At the same spot where we kissed The first time I swear my pain is far away long gone by now We've got a We got a lot of work done today. You did a really good job. Must have uh, been really hard moving all this wood chip. Well, we have the tractor, so I, I give credit to the coyote. The biggest problem is we have all these wood chips that we get and they're free, so I'm not complaining, but I would say 80% of it or 70% of it is just very woody. It's not chopped Our up very well. Sticks. And it's just not exactly what we want, but there's a good 20% that's beautiful. We have an idea. I think I'm gonna rent a wood chipper and we're gonna dump the existing wood chips that we don't like as much into it and see if we can't produce a more fine cleaner wood chip that we want for you know showing in our garden and for help with weed management yeah i think, I think we try that idea. so anyway a future project another video but it's not horrible by any means no no again no complaints so it's great anyway we did get wood chips everywhere and i think it does two things for us one it helps with weed control and second it's an aesthetic it helps to kind of clean everything up and tie all these different areas together that we built we have the berry beds we have these furrows 
we have the orchard and as we continue to add the wood chips is the one foundation that keeps everything uh, in kind of a uniform look yeah there's a continuity to it it's our zen garden it's got to look even and clean <gasps> once we get the bees and a birdhouse and a fountain it will be zenny. <sighs> mm. so yes off to the uh <laughs> Taj Mahal building that we're gonna put up here but bees are coming soon I mean I think the bees could be here within six weeks Okay, so that means we've got to get the electric fence That means on. we have to learn anything about bees. We just need some bear suits. I mean, some. <laughs> we just need some bee suits. That's right, right. So we have most of our beds in place. We might add a couple of more beds on some of the corners as we fill in space. But right now, most of this is in place and a lot of it's planted out. So really, we're gonna spend our time. Well, we still need to put in the pumpkin patch. That's true. We have a pumpkin patch to put in. So we still have planting to do and we'll have planting seasonally. Uh, and this berry bed we planted here or built yesterday, uh, our L-shaped <laughs> and our L-shaped berry bed. It's not a berry bed. That's right. Our L-shaped raised bed that we planted, uh, that we, blah, 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 blah. it's our blooper reel. Our L-shaped raised bed that we'll use to plant whatever we asparagus want. Asparagus and garlic. Asparagus and garlic for now. We'll plant out still. Most of this is in place and we can really start putting our effort into growing and cultivating and- Tending it. Tending it, exactly. So I think that's where the fun is going to be. And over the next few months, as we see big growth, maybe some loss, I hope not. But as you see big growth, I think it'll be fun. We'll learn a lot. Teach the boys. Yeah, lots of to, projects for the boys. How to harvest later. Lots of fruit in their lunch boxes next year. That's right. So it'll be good. It's exciting, you guys, and we can't wait to share the rest with you. So we'll see you on the next one. Bye. You got a smile that makes the sun rise. You make it shine. But I can see that you don't.